Okay, everybody, let's recap the lesson. So we were talking about completing the square because when we complete the square, it makes trinomials that can't be factored. We can still solve them, but it takes a little trick, okay? So this trinomial will not be, you can't factor it. Multiples of 12 will not make a 10. So what do you do? It's got two answers. So we do this thing called completing the square. First step, we got to bring the C, we got to bring the 12 to the other side. So we did that. And then you take one half of B squared. Well, B is 10. I took half of 10 is 5. I squared 5, I got 25. Now I added that to both sides. You got to add it both sides to keep the equation balanced. That'll factor. That'll factor into x plus 5, x plus 5, which is an x plus 5 quantity squared. Now I combine these two terms and got a 13. Now I got an x plus 5 quantity squared equals 13, so I solve. I took the square root of both sides and I got plus or minus square root of 13. So then I got two equations, right? Hey, Omar. Go ahead. You can say hi because I'm recording. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's all right. It's all good. Oh, you get a bomb. I like it. Awesome. I <laughs> lost them. So, square root of 13, we could keep it in root form, or we can actually find out what the square root of 13 is on our calculator. Square root of 13 on our calculator is, I can't remember exactly what it was. Hi, guys. How are you? I'm recording, but that's okay. So then I so add 5, add 5. Yeah, you got to bomb the 10th. Yeah. And I get these two answers. So what are our steps? Step 1, we move C to the other side. I did that. Step 2, we took half a B. We squared it. We added that to both sides. We factored. And we solved. And there are two answers, okay? So then question number, this one on the next page, with the same thing. Move to the 10 over the other side. Half of 8 is 4. 4 squared is 16. So I added 16 to both sides. I factored it. X plus 4, X plus 4. X plus 4, quantity squared. Square root of both sides, square root of both sides. The square root of 6 is about 2.42, but two answers. So I have an X. Then it's going to equal two answers, which is a negative 1.55 and a 6.45. Now those are these zeros on the graph. Okay, we did one more with the negative. Okay, we move forward to the other side. This first step I did, I took half of 6 is 3. 3 squared is 9, so I added 9 to both sides. That factor is x minus 3, x minus 3, x minus 3 squared. Took the square to both sides, 2.24 plus or minus, right? And then I had two equations, x minus 3 equals 2.24, and x minus 3 equals a negative 2.24. So I ended up with two different equations. Okay, that's the solutions for the day. All right, and then homework was a worksheet. I think it was 4-3. Okay, that's all we got. Come see me if you're stuck.